Hey guys, Arrow here, and welcome to the new plaza. It's way bigger than before, as you can see. One might even say it's grand. Yeah, sorry for the pun. With more space comes more items and skins, and way more collection. Here we got the three skin areas, uh, and the pet skin one. It's a lot of choices, not gonna lie. You can pretty much see every sellable skin. A few ones that definitely haven't been sold yet in the regular market. So I'm really hyped about that one. Maybe even add a few to my collection, who knows. And same goes for the pet skin area. I'm personally not a huge pet skin fan, because I got the perfect one already. But besides that, if you need some, definitely got enough. Over here we got the dyes. There's not much to it, to be honest. It's just dyes, all right? You can choose of quite a lot. It's definitely less than before in the bazaar, but it's still way more than a regular person probably needs. You can have the cloth. I mean, it honestly, it's just dyes and cloth. There's not really much special to it, but it's very neatly organized, and you can see through most of the stuff. It's definitely better than before. Over here, we have the first vanity room. Um, a cat room. Why a cat room? I don't know. Uh, all I know is that it's kind of cute, and I will definitely AFK a bit in here if I got the time for that. <laughs> I don't know why they added it, not gonna lie, but it's cool. It's dandy. I don't know why, but good job, Decker. You made cats. Down here, quite the opposite of it, we got the casino. Like all bazaars should have. There's unfortunately nothing to it. Uh, nothing is actually operatable here yet. Maybe Decca decides to add something at some point. Um, I had the idea that maybe Gil is sitting here and you can, I don't know, play blackjack with him or, you know, transfer the chess game from the guild hall to here. I don't know what Decca will actually do with that information or if this is just going to be an empty room. I mean, usable wise. But besides that, it's really cool. You get your poker here. Might even be blackjack. I don't know. And your roulette. Kinda cool. It's a... It's a neat thing. It's definitely not necessary, but it's neat. Overall, we got the forgery. And... I must admit, the forgery is really nice. Overall, it's generally really interesting. You can buy ores, which you weren't able to do before. You can also buy mill shards, and they're kinda cheap, but... Yeah, they're, they're still just for gold, so I don't know if you really want to get those. And of course, sulfur. And I think the sulfur prices are actually kind of reasonable. They're still not cheap, but they're definitely... Alright, I probably won't get any, but, you know, technically you can. Also, there's new blueprints, uh, which are way more specific. Most of them are, uh, well, not exactly great. But the Doku one, for example, 5000 fame for Doku. It's not bad, it's not bad. There's also ones for gold, which I'm not a huge fan of. Maybe they change that in the future, I really don't know. But if you're still missing a few, it's definitely going to be a good thing to maybe check around at the new bazaar. Also, 356 gold for coal ring blueprint. Yeah, I don't think so. Just opposite of it, we got the pet egg and food area. But I like the sprite art, look at that. It's a cute little egg, looks like a Yoshi egg. It's, it's cute. It's all it needs to be. Like, it's cute, it's perfect. All right, moving on. Uh, you just get your pet food here. Interestingly enough, you can buy solar energy 4,000 for 20k food power. Some people might need it. Next to it, we got a tavern, uh, a good place to chill and maybe open some dungeons. Up to you, but someone wasted their drink there. It's cool, it's just another vanity room, there's not much to it. I don't know why Decca made so many of them, but just for flavor, it's really great. Not gonna lie, they look amazing, the sprite art, the little details on them are just great. This is a dining room or something, I honestly don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's just a dining room, there's no kitchen to it, or anything, so magical food. You got plants, there's, there's not much to it, alright, it's just a dining room, a small one. And now to the actual big area, which is like 90% of the area of the entire thing. Okay, it's 50%. Don't add me. The class specific bazaar. What does it mean? For example, this is the archer. You can get armors, which are used by archers. You can get bows used by archers. Some of them actually for fame as well, up to tier 11. 
G12 unfortunately costs gold and quite a heap, but hey. You can also buy quivers and skins, which is really great. So not only can you specifically search out for skins this way, they don't show a lot. I like it personally, I kind of like it. It's just a nice touch. You don't have to get anything from here. That's the first part about it. That's the best part about it. But yeah, you got pretty much every class here. But there's one thing that I kind of want to show you. There's an empty space. And not only one, there's three in total. So either A, this means they just made it for, you know, so it's symmetry. Or there's maybe three classes coming, at least. There was a leak, I don't know if that's actually true, someone told me there was a leak about a new katana class coming out. Maybe we'll see this one in here at some point. I mean, to be fair, there's a samurai. And the ninja. Kinda fits, kinda fits. <laughs> anyway. And the last one, the ring room. Not much to it, it's rings, not even good ones. Ring of Paramount, a vitality, why? But, sure. Just for the sake of completion, we got that here. And for some reason, this fountain doesn't have a wall, like it used to be. It's nice. I can actually splash around in the water. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. It's solid map design, it's really nice artwork and lots of detail on it. It's debatable if this stuff actually is needed and necessary and if we actually needed something like this. But it's definitely cool and it's definitely something than the regular bazaar, where you just sit in 90% of the game now because you're doing Discord runs. It's definitely way better to look at, not like an eyesore like the usual buzzard. I really hope this to come soon, so I can actually chill in this bazaar now with the cats. It's great! There's a lot of small details where we can find some easter eggs maybe. I don't know if that guy actually hit anything here. But yeah, it's solid. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you on the next one where I will show you some of the upcoming skins. Don't at me on that one, it might that I not show all of them, or maybe even show one that is worth showing, because there's actually a really good one I really want to show. But, yeah. I hope you had fun, hope to see you again next video, and goodbye.